Good evening. How is everybody? Hope you're all well. Thanks for coming and joining us for another Friday Night Live. It's Friday, the week's over, the weekend's here. Let's enjoy it. So, who we got in the background? We have the dynamic duo in the background. Here they are, look. Yes. <laughs> Desire. As usual. God, what my Cooking on gas. <laughs> the reliable on ones. Gas. He's a pain in the butt. <laughs> so, it's the reliable We have Brian and Terry. Reliable. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming over and joining me. Um, so, you're welcome. Um, yeah, what am I doing tonight? I, up until about 10 minutes ago, didn't know. But I have a piece of laburnum. I've never turned laburnum before. And I know it's laburnum because it's got it written on the bottom. Look. So, yeah. so I'm going to have a go. Because gonna... it's got it written on the bottom. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to turn a goblet. I would like to say I've never turned laburnum. I've actually. never, I've never, ever, don't know what it's like. <laughs> don't know if it's hardwood or softwood or whatever, but we're going to give it a go. Um, it's about, what do I say, about 90 mil across and about seven and three quarter inches long so we're going to try and get a bit of a goblet out of it and uh see what we can do so one of these guys is going to read the chat i'm going to get over and get ready right. and i'll see you guys over at lave right. don't right, fight boys see you, mate. See, you. see you in half an hour all right i'm just gonna have my tea and i'll be back maybe you walk over that huge shop to you later yeah. miles away well, i'm there if you wait is he saying that or am i uh you're doing it Terry. Oh, we got Wayne the Wood Turner. Good evening, Wayne. This is this is where my chat starts, anyway. Wayne the Wood Turner. Good evening to Wayne. Good evening to Jennifer Crafting Creations. Roy's the boy. Brian Hart returning. Got to get in, Emmy. Dave O'Shea. Barry's Wood Creations. Uh, Gerard the French Turner. Hi, oh, Gerard. Who have you been for a long time? Yeah, well, You've been hiding. Cooking, I expect. Cooking, I expect. Do you want to put us on background, Steve? Or not? You are on background. Colin is ours. Are we? Oh, yeah, of course we are. Colin Izzard's in. Oh, oh, wake up, Terry. Richard, he's in. I'm looking at the chat, that's why. Oh, see, okay. I'll let you off. Terry Glass is in. And Susie the Swiss Wood Turner is in. Paul Hi, Susie. Clayton, the Greasy Turner's in. Todd at Glencoe Woodworks. Uh, trying to say Dara Coolin is in. Hi, Dara. Hi, Dara. Da, 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 da. And down we go. David Heath, the Guildford Carpenter, is in. And further down, Tipsy Turner's in, and it's like it's Jeff. And uh, do, 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 do. Shane Hurst is in. Oh, Shane. And we're nearly there. Ben Jamin's in. Hello, peoples, he says. Hello, peoples. Hello, peoples. Hello, peoples. It's nice to see your peoples. Ben's on good form of one's time. Norman Greenwell is in. Malcolm Douglas is in. Oh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying not to do a Joe Andrew from Wyvy Woodshed's in. I'm trying not to miss anybody. Uh, Stephen Dunn, the Wood Dude. Wee Val is in. Wee Val. Stephen the Wood Dude and Paul Kavanagh. Door 60. And that, for the moment, good evening everybody, is the chat so far. Steve. Yeah, there are 49 Welcome. people in watching already. Wonderful. Wonderful guy. Shane, uh, Shane Hurst. Did you say Shane Hurst? I did. You sure? You were asleep on that time, yeah. Because I know what your memory's like. No, my <laughs> memory's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and we've all just said hi, Mr. Ryan. Hi. His we memory's know. perfect when he remembers. Yeah. yeah. That's it. But his Brian, memory's perfect well, for 30 I'm seconds. Brian El Tornero doing my... No, 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 no. In... Sorry, that was Brian with the white. <laughs> right. oh, no, we're, not having, we're not having this foreign languages here. It's Brian with the white. Ash and Wavy Woodshed. Did you say Wavy was in? Yeah, Ash John Scarborough's in. Hello, John. Yeah, they're coming in like they're flying in here. Yeah, flying in. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, we've all turned an apple today. Oh, nice. It was nice. Did you get to the core? Oh, wood turning my body. You must have out, Terry. Already said it. Irish recreation's in as well. Oh, you're in so much trouble. Oh, hang on. Speaking uh, of wee Val, okay. speaking of wee Val, Val, where's that thing I made for her? Oh, yeah, Terry that wee thing, yeah. Terry Terry wee thing. Where is it? Let's Hi, Terry. Ask. Just come back on camera oh. quickly. Val, catch yourself with this then. Oh, hang on. This one. This is for you, Val. So there you go, Val. Red and gold Ooh. as you required. Requested. So, so requested. If requested. So if you message me, then we'll get it sent out to you. Ba -da -da -da. Bar's going to be turning resin. Yeah, don't blame me for the mess. 
do it. Do a live Val so I can get. Do, if you do a, uh, a little live Val, I'll, I'll get a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you won't feel so um, left yeah, out. Yeah, I won't feel so bad. For those of you who just joined us, Stephen is turning a piece of laburnum today. Laburnum. Which is poisonous. Don't, don't be eating it. He's having a go. For my first time, I've never turned it before, so. Well, I suppose it can't be apparently, too bad. Apparently, it used to be used a lot by uh, wood uh, wood workers uh, as a as a, a veneer. Mm. Rex bees in. Hello, Rex. Oh, Rex. We Val says, "Wow, wow, wow! Absolutely pure, dead, brilliant." Thank you so dead, much brilliant. for her resin piece. So you have to say that with a short Scottish accent. Terry. I'll let you do that. Pure dead brilliant. Pure dead brilliant, mate. Hook! <laughs> whoa, whoa, hook! 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 It's lovely. And that's not that's a flammer. Hook! That was like, that was like, yeah. Uh, Yours are almost. Yeah. Have you not this rough day yet? Take the time, Ash. Ash says it's very, very nice to turn, Stephen. It is nice. I've only turned a tiny little bit. I got a small branch piece and I made a nice, a lovely little Christmas ornament out of it. Which I tried to show Steve earlier, but it's actually in the Christmas decorations box, which is in the attic. And he wouldn't go and get it. <laughs> I wouldn't go and get it because I'm too lazy. Douglas Mungham has just joined us. Hello, Douglas. Hi, Douglas. All right, Welcome so well. tending on the end. Oh, so we... What's this? Congratulations for Gerard. What's this? Gerard's going to be a grandparent. Oh. They're going to be grandparents again for the second time this year. Well, He's well, I was going to say, well done, Gerard, but you didn't have very much to do it, I hope. No, well, <laughs> I hope not, anyway. <laughs> but congratulations to the mum and dad. Congratulations, yes. Yeah. Very well done. David Vaughan is in. Hi, David. Right, so just get that on a tenon. I'm going to be grumpy twice Question. this year. Question. Stephen, the word dude wants to know, Steve, will the goblet have a lid? As I've heard, this is all the rage nowadays. Mm, I don't know about that. Goblets with lids? Yeah. Who said that? Yeah. What's that to stop the dust getting in your drink? Oh, that'll, that'll, be, that'll be Stephen of the Wood Dude. Yep. yep. Keith Jarvis has just joined us, little Keith. Because his latest creation that's on Facebook is a goblet with a turned lid. to stone with a stunning lid with an acorn. As yeah, a, I'll as see a, that. It's absolutely gorgeous. He's going to have to stop posting him pictures. He's making the rest of us look bad. Might just unfriend him, it'll do. Yeah, maybe that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> just unfriend him. You get too, you get too messed <laughs> off. <with> it. Just <laughs> want to see no more of that. It keeps embarrassing just, us. I don't. You don't have to unfriend him. Just stop following him. You know, so you don't get the notifications. <laughs> Good evening, Neil M. I can't do that because whenever Stephen puts something up, it just adds to my very nice. my uh, artistic that's memory. That's your doesn't it? Because you yeah. remember that and copy him. Yeah. I think, hmm, I'll, I'll uh, adapt and overcome there, maybe. <laughs> Change it somewhat or something. All right, so I'm not going to take this bit down too much because I want to try and keep some of that natural colour on there. And then the dark bit coming through as we curve the... Yeah. So a bit like you, the sapwood's a, different, a totally different colour to the hardwood. Yeah, it's very oh, pale. It's a buttery yellow colour, as it is described. In, yeah. uh, lemon yellow. No, no, it says buttery yellow. It's lemon. Look at it, look. It says buttery yellow. That's lemon. what it says. That's what it says in the old Wikipedia book. Look at the screen. Hi, Michelle. Michelle's just came in. Say hello to Terry. Michelle, my bell. Nobody else can see you, just Terry. Just me. Hey! Oh, <laughs> She wasn't a torture me, guys. I, I, I think uh, I need a bit of assistance here. No, we'll just turn you off. Let it get on with it. Just turn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He's turning a piece of liburnum, dear. Yes, liburnum. You know that fancy dangly yellow flowered tree that flowers early in the springtime? Um, Do not eat the seeds. Yes. It looks Don't like the pods. Do not eat the pea pods. You will need a stomach pump afterwards. Ask me how I know that. Graham Brown has just joined us. Don't ask me. 
Hi, Graham. MG's woodworking system. Mr. Mr. G. Mr. G. MG. Sounds like a rapper. Mr. G. Mr. G's in the house. Mr. G in the house. He left, is it? Oh, she said, he said hi to Michelle. A whole lot of people saying hi to Michelle. She's not even in the chat. Get in your, go back to your room and get in the chat, woman. What are you <laughs> doing sitting in here of him? Go on. <laughs> so Green is... said that the hashtag mushroom, he did a little burnham mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Fred Gulliver, then. Hello, Fred. All right, so before, so before I get too carried away with that, I want to I hollow that bit out, really. John Scarver has a question that the bit. chat stops moving. It says, can someone explain the difference between sapwood and heartwood? Okay. Uh, so sapwood is the uh, normally around the outside edge of the tree. Can you show us the end grain there, uh, Steve? Sapwood. So on the end grain, the light coloured piece around the outside of that is sapwood. And that's the new growth on the tree. Because trees kind of grow out the way in rings. So the bit between the path where Steve's point is in the, in the middle there, that's the path. So that basically is the... Um, Middle heart. It's, it's the start of the plant, the sapling, if you like. And then the next bit on out to the edge is heartwood. And then the bit on the edge is sapwood. And that's where most of the moisture is. That's what travels the moisture up and down the tree. Mostly. Dave Oti wants to know if your good wife, Brian, has found the new tools. <laughs> or Findlay's in dropped Hello Paul. Dropped in it again. <laughs> I, I can't afford to buy new tools because I'm going to see Glenn Lucas, so I'm saving up. I can't afford new tools. Royce Glenn Boy Lucas wants to know if you've got a mask, on. Steve. I have, but um, I've got the extraction on, so it should be all right. <laughs> Poor, poor Gerard, the fringe turner, he had to make a rattle, baby rattle in June. Now he's got to make another one with no November. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's hard. Yeah. Turns nice. It, it should turn a little bit, no? I'd try to hold it. I would not. You could drill a hole with your uh, spindle gauge. You could uh, drill a hole with a drill string. Look, there she's in now, look. <gasps> oh, no, Ben spotted the witch. Curse the witch. Mm -hmm. Is he talking about Michelle now? She's just come in. I know, oh. I, that's no way to talk Who about Michelle. Oh. Oh. Yep, Gary Glass says, I turned the bird the beak bars with a laburnum. And sold it at the fair. He says, if I had a hundred, I'd have sold them as well. The Burnham is so popular. Oh, get on. It, it, it's um, off to the fair next week, then. Yeah. It can be used as a substitute for um, ebony and. Ash, beech, oak. So, oh, ebony and oak. Anything. Um, and inlays. I'm going to try, well, I'm going to use the uh, Simon Hope follower. Okay. You're not thinking about drawing the hole down to the depth you need, Steve? Well, I could do. I would. I could Might do. Be easier. I? Then I can just back, then I can just back hollow it, can't I? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Leave the wall if a you're finding it that hard, you might want to do the outside as well, won't you? Well, I'm going to, I think I'm going to take because I want to, I'd like to try and get rid of this bit here, which is still a bit of the bark, yeah. Okay, so if I run a force and a bit down there of that size, would be perfect. Robert from Hodgepodge Woodworks is in. Oh, hi, Robert. See, uh, evening, Robert. How are you doing, mate? Um, Roy the boys has made himself a, a rod for his own back, he made a pepper mill. And now he has to make an identical one, obviously, for a salt mill. No, we don't. It doesn't have to be identical. A salt one. You ain't got to. You just empty yep. the pepper out and put the salt in it. <laughs> well, that's true. And if, you, yeah. if, they're, if they're not identical, you'll know the difference just, between salt and pepper, wouldn't you? <coughs> just put the salt and pepper in together and give it a grind. that not work? No. Pre-mix. Yeah. Well, what would I know? <laughs> yeah, ready mix. 
<laughs> oh no, that's cement. That's what you make Wellingtons out of. Looks nice for it to turn, doesn't it? It is lovely. I, I enjoy turning a tiny little bit of That's quite a big bit you've got there, Steve. That's all the guys say. All right. <laughs> Hazard and a guess, I think. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just, uh, just, just, days to go before he retires. Well, <laughs> 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 well I get my, my phone here. I'm just about to text Mickey to confirm that. <laughs> uh, Gary Glass, I have a whacking great lump for left, but I will save it when I get into the new Herald. As the wee lathe, I have now can't hold it. Ooh. When's the Herald coming, Gary? Have you ordered? So a little bit more. Are you, are you on said waiting list? Yeah, only 291 days to go, Jared. It's all passed by in a flash. In no time at all. It'll feel like the worst time at all. And, uh, Dave Oatley says, oh, Dave Oatley, OT, not Oatley. I get that wrong every time. You keep saying ugly. Every time. Sorry, Dave. It is how many days holiday do you have to take off that, Jared? Oh. Uh, Jared gets his holidays as well, doesn't he? Yeah, no, knowing Jared is probably taking holidays off already. Five or six weeks, wasn't he? So, no more. All right, so can we see that? Oh, three weeks yep. old. Fine. Fine, Steve. Final's in, guys. Evening, Lionel. So, just going to gently back all of this. Always good to be gentle with the back hollowing, I'd say. You don't want to end up with a Mike Walk goblet. That still could happen, of course. <clears throat> of course, it could still happen. I mean, Steve's you got been a tennis ball it, or you got some other means? Steve's been, uh, Steve's well known for dropping things and, and uh, <coughs> going through the bottom. <laughs> I've never gone through the bottom of a goblet. No, I was going to say, good. All the side, Brian, all the side. There may be trouble at or the side. Why did you mention the side? Oh. No, no, just... mention I'll point you with We know he went I through think, the bottom I think, side uh, of a goblet. I think I may have done. No, it was a vase. It was a goblet. Right. It was two buzzes. <laughs> I've done it twice. It's all part of the learning experience. Turns nice. It does, yeah. You really polish it up, the colours would be gorgeous. Yeah, it just wears, right? It, it, I mean, it shines to a high gloss. But beware, it doesn't, it, it highlights every little tool mark. Or sanding mark. If I was, the, if I was Gerard, I'd save up for those days. Work I extra would. days. So when you get to like five weeks before, you just say, bye. Take a I'm done. Holiday. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> Off and running. How long would you to retire, Brian? Long ago did I retire? Yeah. I retired from uh, from working for someone else when I was fifty five, and uh, started a business on my own, the horsemanship thing. But that that it wasn't that's not work, and I just that's do it when, and yeah, I just I just do it when I feel like it. So it's not really work, you know. It's not a sort of you have to get up in the morning, go to your work, do your. So it's not really a work. So basically, I retired at fifty five. I retired from working uh, for somebody at 50. Mm. And I worked for myself for 16 years. Yeah. And then I retired from that. But you had a, you had a, a business um, doing decking and all that kind of stuff, didn't you? A maintenance, yeah. a maintenance firm. So you were, you were actually, you were grafting, you were working. I was grafting for the last six years. So, but... Uh, Passes in from real simple things. Greg oh. Alexander's. Hi, oh, Pass. Hi, Evan. Pass. Welcome along, mate. Greg. 
you're, you're, yes. you're a bit in the same boat as kind of Steve's in. He's yeah. the way as a General maintenance, isn't he? I love it when he graphs. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Larry. <laughs> <Sorry, Steve. laughs> My days of grafting are done. I do what I can in the day, and if it's not enough, it can wait till tomorrow. Yep. They always say a builder's body is ten years older than the actual body. <laughs> Yep, it is, yeah. probably. And the H is in, hello, Andy. And I worked in a school. Um, well, it, it, there's building contractors. You know, some schools kind of have a building contractor that always seems to appear at the school when something's wrong. It was just sort of outfit. Um, three or four guys, uh, always the same guys, would appear. And there was one guy who was 70-odd years of age, still shimming up and down ladders with a bucket and... You know, doing things the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Crazy. But he, he, he was wrecked, the poor guy. I'm hoping that's not me. <laughs> no. Well, I'm hoping not so. Fortunately, I don't have to do that anymore. So. I'm hoping when someone 55, I can think about cutting me hours down. That's what yeah, I'm hoping. You, 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 you got a couple of have, boys working for you, then you just order them about. That's the answer. You, you gotta, you gotta have plan for your future in advance. There's no point in waiting till the last minute. No, you are there. <coughs> yep, I've been planning from the early guys. I've been planning from the future the last thirty years. <laughs> yeah, I know most of the guys in the chat here are, are <laughs> our age or, or close to it. Getting near <laughs> retirement, some of them. <laughs> But any youngsters who are about plan for your future now, get some money squirreled away somewhere in a pension scheme. No a anybody. good pension scheme. And if you can get into a government job, there's the best pension schemes in the country. Particularly schools. Yeah, or hospitals. And the police force. Yeah. That's, what I've, that's what I've told Nick. She's been working in the schools for um, 20 years. I've said, that's all right, you can look after me. I've looked after you all these yeah. years. You can look oh, after absolutely. me. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. The National Health or the uh, schools. That's why yeah. Ruth's a nurse. And as far as I'm concerned, she wishes Andy to H is in. stay a nurse. Good evening, Andy. Hi, Andy. Andy, who's on? Five minutes who's ago. On, uh, who's on on Tuesday, Andy? Because we can never remember. You boys keep changing it. They do that just so to mess you around. Right? Just to keep us guessing, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Baz says he's got 25 years left before he can retire. That's 25 years of good, hard saving. <sighs> yeah, so it has. We thought it was less than that, but no comment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave, o Dave Oldie says he's only 49, but he's, he's, he's got a knackered back. Rubbish. He was a lot older. When I knew you 20 years ago, you were 30, 49 then. Yeah. Is his, is his calendar working backwards, is it, Terry? It is. You have to be. I have to say I only feel 26, and when I get up in the mornings, I feel like I'm, I'm only 26. I only and feel 26, I, and then she rolls over. And yeah, I then I throw my leg out of the bed and think, oh, Jesus, maybe I'm not. <laughs> well, my father used to say, you're only as old as the girl you're feeling. All right, young one. <coughs> well, Dad's got to... 16 years left to, till she retires. You can't be that old, Dad. She's going to 90, answer. is she? Terry. Terry, Terry. No messing about there, eh? Of April 1973. Yeah, I, I could have typed that as well, Dave. Yeah, that's not proof. That's, that's not evidence. Kind of David. You try to tell me Dave said a hard paper, right? Yeah, Just he might have done. Might he did work in a builder's shower when I knew him because he was supplying all my builders. Oh, that would, that would put years on you, anyway. Yeah, say, I want like you know, 200 blocks. There you go. into the trailer for me. He'd say, yep. Thanks, Andy. So, uh, Keith's on at lunchtime, or sorry, Andy's on at lunchtime and Keith's on the evening on Tuesday. Let's see if I can remember that till Monday. No. 
Plus the Gems only got three months left. Oh, well done, Neil. Yeehaw. All right, so we're just going to say that. Scarborough's 69 next week. Blimey. I feel like Silas an 18 year old, he says. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah, this is people. true, Baz, I understand. Yeah. Baz says, yeah. save him, Brian. Got more chance of poop and snow. <laughs> the current climate's a joke. Uh, it is, mate. I, I, I totally agree. Poor old Ben Jammy's got heat, 30 heat years left. Michelle was looking to get some heat and oil. Sorry, mate. Michelle was looking to get some heat and oil today. It was four hundred and ninety-five pounds, I think she said. For, for a thousand five, or for five hundred liters. Five hundred liters. Blimey. Just Strickless. under a pound a liter. Yeah. Like Dave only says, says getting all my all my materials killed him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Load the trailer with it, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think a second word was different than that. Yeah. Spirit wind, stony bone. Heather is in. Hello, Heather. Yeah. Good evening, Heather. She says, I, I have a little less than eight years until retirement if my body makes it that long. <laughs> <laughs> And A A A G K Woodwork says, "I'm to have had to retire at 55." Is that through choice? Don't blame you. That's my plan. Oh, I'm not like, to retire. See, Semi -retire. see, Andy's just trying to confuse me now because he says, "Sorry, Brian, wrong way around." I'm in the evening and Keith's on lunchtime, so now I'm definitely confused. No, he still don't know, does he? Because he said it one way and the other, so now he's got to rethink. Yeah. And he's going to so, ring Keith now and ask him. So Monday evening, I'll still be on the wiser. <laughs> well, you'd have forgotten by then anyway, so don't matter. Oi, oi. There was no need for that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Jeff and Tipsy Turner says, Steve, where are you? Wayne the word Turner now? I'll turn my head for a, for a second and only a second. You have all it. That's almost done. Yeah, uh, it's not yeah. almost done. It's only because we told him to use his first number on it. Well, yeah, and, and really, to be honest, he takes so long. He, he, we thought, you know, get yeah, on. I know. Don't want to be here all night. Talk so much, see. It's Steve doesn't talk much, does he? Does, does Steve talk a lot? No. Joke, Brian. Come on. Wise up. Oh, right, okay. Sorry. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't need to talk a lot. I've got Nick. Yeah, true. Ooh. How is she, all right? Yeah, she's very well. Good. Oh, Andy says, I've just looked up the roster. I was right the second time. So it's Keith Brian. at lunchtime, Andy at night time, just to confuse everybody. Brian with a Y says he's living his retirement dream. We're turning in a warm climate. Ah. Uh, so I'm just going to put I a wish, little. I wish, Brian. Just, I put wish. A little, just put a little chamfer on there. Chamfer. So Mr. G's returning. He's just got his new lathe, and it's an accident to four or six, and he's yeah. turning anything you get his hands on. Oh, I'll bet he is. It's a yeah, cracking brilliant, buddy. Brilliant. Cracking lathe, mate. You have to enjoy that. Oh, look, the gentleman wood tunnels in, and no comments about just coming out the pool or drinking by the poolside. Or a mark. I've got a button forehead. We don't need any of them comments, Mr. Mark. But welcome along. He's got a burnt forehead with all of it. Jesus Christ, that must be big. Yeah. <laughs> On top of his head. Must be must be sore. <gasps> He's got an extended is, forehead. Have you not it's not that Mark big, but the airplanes are using it as a landing plad. Hope you got it's three, a beacon uh, at the end of the runway. Hope you got at least three um, tubs of apple <laughs> sunflower. He's going gonna, he's gonna to stand at the end of the room as a beacon. <laughs> Factor 50 and after sun in the fridge. That's the only cure. I bet he's in the bar. Yeah, you sure you're right he's in the bar. Oh, yeah, he's like just, just out of the bar. Yeah, like just out of the bar, yeah. Oh, new job. I hope it's not Kim's bra he's in. 
Barry Chitty's 406 lathe comes in. Uh, Andy H is asking what the temper is. It's laburnum, Andy. See, if you've been on on time, Andy, you wouldn't know. <laughs> Ooh, take that. No prisoners in here today. Roy's, Roy's obviously got one as well. He says he's enjoying his, Brian. I don't return it, so he take, he's enjoying his 406 lead. I mean, Axe Minister are doing well. Yeah, all right. Well done, Roy. Oh, my bad. You get it in the shed, okay, Roy? Roy was having a bit of a debate about would it fit in the shed, I think. Make a bigger shed. I don't know if he got the 406. I thought he got the, the, the next one down. I could be mistaken, though. Oh, oh, oh yeah. what, what did you get, Ray? Yeah, Not confirm sure. for us in the chat what you got. If you don't mind, of course. It's a joke, Andy. Don't have to apologise. Come in any time you want. Just don't be late next time. No, I'm joking. Don't be late next time. <laughs> 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 Mark yeah. surrounded by olive trees. So you should have brought a chainsaw. Chainsaw, yeah. You might have difficulty getting that in the aeroplane, Mark. A tree. <laughs> no, chainsaw. I think you take exception to chainsaws as hand luggage. <laughs> yeah. Andy, Andy reckons he should start a 406 owners club. Oh, right, 406? Yeah. No, 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 let's not start a 406 owners club. Let's start a Ike Mr. Late owners club. Yeah. There probably is one of them already. Yeah, he got a 406, Roy. He said Barry helped him get it in. Yeah, oh, well, well done, mate. He got it in there. You can't turn. You got turned through the window, but he got it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's to open the door to end, Hollow. <laughs> Hello, Clive Williams. Welcome to the Hi, show. Hi, Clive. I, 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 hello, Steve. I understand the laburnum is very toxic. What precautions are you adopting? He's got his it's super only, fast canvac sucking the dust yeah. away. Yeah, you can see the dust all going up there. It, it is only toxic if you eat it. <laughs> so I'm not going to lick it. And don't, we'll not be drinking it, this goblet, anytime soon. Oh, well, I won't be anyway. So pu purely, uh, Steve did suggest it was for his mother in law. No, I, I love you really, mother-in-law. Yeah, listen to you. Yeah. Bit like he loves mm. you like Les Dawson loved his mother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Terry, 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 that's shocking. What does it say there? What did I say there? Liburnum, what does it say about it being poisonous? It says the symptoms of liburnum poisoning may include intense sleepiness, vomiting, <gasps> convulsive <gasps> movements. So if you start jerking about there, Steve will know. Uh, Apart from the vomit, vomit and I suffer from all the others. Yeah, coma, slight <laughs> frothing at the mouth, and Just unequally slow. dilated pupils. That's the same symptoms as red wine, is it not? Yeah. Terry? Be yeah, careful. Michelle, Michelle, I believe I could. I'm starting SK114 Owners Club. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh. Just, Michelle oh. suggests Just that, wait right. till I go back to my sitting room. You are in so much trouble. <laughs> Hey, you know that uh, chalk and jaw combination we discussed? <laughs> Just start that way. You win your hair. All right, so I've signed up the 240 grip. So, Gary's picking his lathe up tomorrow. <gasps> the excitement is palpable. Of course, SK114, as Douglas says, got to have a O'Donnell Jaws. It's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty inside there. It's lovely. Timber. It is. It's, it's beautiful a beautiful bit of timber. You go, is that the final shape of the goblet? I hope not. No, not on the outside. On the inside, yes. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to shape... Give him time to get away. God, Brian, you're... <laughs> sort of mad. Probably the boy says, I've got a piece that's about two and a half foot long, Brian. It's a bit boastful. But what diameter? Right. Mm. Right. Douglas Mullins says, Terry, check my last comment. What did Douglas say? Uh, Douglas said, Douglas said we should join an SK114 and O'Donnell Chuck group. That's what I did say, Douglas. 
You didn't oh. listen. Well, you should should listen should you now? Michael well, McEwen is in. Hello, Michael. I hope you enjoy your group. <laughs> Dara says, Brian, if you get the SK114, I know Donald George. <laughs> I know firsthand. Oh, so she's got it too. I keep telling you, I can't afford one. It's very expensive. It's nearly 500 quid for both. If Ooh. you didn't have nine blinking it, huh? record power chucks, you would be able to. I've got nine record power chucks. Probably would have. It's got ten. Week. I've only got five. Okay, Dave. Dave's got to go for a minute. Dog's got to go out. Let the dog Hi, Dave. Stop. See you shortly. Let's time Dave, see how long he's away. <laughs> Just kick it out in the back garden. Yeah, that's what I do. Kick it out in the front garden. Close the gates, kick it out the door. Yeah, right, yeah. dog. Oh, get out there. Yeah. Do not. Lovely, my little. I love my little dogs. Andy is quite correct that uh, Laburnum and you are the only two Brit, uh, British timbers that are rated highly toxic. Mm. Um, there are lots of other ones that are... Yeah, you got to chew the damn stuff. Slightly really toxic. You, yeah, you kind of got to eat it. To yeah, it's, not, it's not that toxic. Cause you any great distress. There are, so, there are other woods that will cause you more distress from the dust. Respiratory problems. All dust will cause respiratory problems. It does. Can it? But it's a good practice to wear a mask if you have one. Yeah. Or have a good dust extractor system. A really good extractor system, which Steve has. You can and see you it can going see across it. the lathe from there. Yeah. So I'm wondering if wood, I can get a little wood, bit more out of that. Wood tunnies by Barry says. I would stick to the record power chucks, Brian. Well, unless somebody buys me one, uh, Barry, uh, that's what I'll be doing. I have no what intention. If bought, what if somebody bought you the old Donald Jaws? <laughs> what would you do then? I would just uh, <laughs> put them on eBay and sell them again. Yeah. <laughs> you never record by a truck for Never say never. Don't always say always, but usually say usually. I usually prefer... My record power. But I will never say that I would not try a, an Axe Master because they're Tim. actually very, very good chucks and I know they are. Tim's in from TF Turning. Hello, Tim. Who's that? Tim. Tim from TF Turning. Good evening, Tim. <laughs> Douglas Mongham says listening to Joe is more toxic. Oops. Oh. Oops. Good job. She's not here. It is a good job. There may be trouble ahead, and you could end up. But while there's. <laughs> ben Thomas says, Dara, are they insured? Just, uh, just the SK114 and uh, O'Donnell Jaws we're talking about, Ben. AJK, say, AJK says, I'm record per chucks all the way. See? All the way. Yeah, I, Adam I, I, I from knew, I knew, turns in. I knew Adam Martin. would have something to say, but Vic Martin Marty says, hello Adam, yeah. good evening. Vic Martin. Nothing, actually, there's Vic actually Martin. Um, nothing wrong with any of the chucks these days, really, uh, to be truthful. They're all, they're all perfectly all usable. They all work, yeah. yeah. They're all perfectly usable. I fancy that chuck, that, is it? That chuck where you just press a button and Carl Jacobs and got it. Oh, the easy wood. Pop out. E easy yeah. wood chuck. It's not cheap, but I fancy it. I fancy yeah, that's, a, one that, that's even more that's more expensive than the X Master, I think. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, you want to love one, see. You only need one chuck because the jaw changes is like lightning fast. Yeah. Carl Jacobson uses it all the time. Yeah. And it is quick to change as well as yeah. So, so if you like buy three or four chucks that you know that would pay for one of those and then the jaws you just pop them in and out quickly. Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Yeah, that's the that's the issue, Todd, about the record power yeah. chucks. Three chucks, three different keys. 
Hmm. Yeah, such a SC2, SC3, and SC4, all different keys. Which is just about madness, if you ask me. What? That's what it is. Hmm. Concentrate, Steve. Uh -huh. uh -huh, yeah. Concentrate. Did, did, you get a little, did you get a little catchy, Bill? Yeah, I did. Yeah, t Tim, it's laburnum. He's turning a laburnum goblet. He's going to give it to somebody you don't like to drink out of. Uh, uh, Roy says, do the uh, jaws fit on the record power chucks? And the answer to that, if you're talking about record power chucks, the answer is no. Nothing fits on Axe Monster chucks. I fit on anything else. Axe Monster stuff only fits Axe Monster well, stuff. No, they do, they do, they do, they do, they fit on that do one. What? Pete bought. Uh, it's the Pete just bought, but you have to buy the carriers for it. What is it? Though? What, was, what was the name of Chuck? Um, First of Chuck, was it? Or something like that? First of Chuck, that's it. Yeah. But you have to buy the yeah. Axe Monster carriers. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy different carriers for different, but they all Chucks. fit that chuck. Bag. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. so that's a way to go if you want to try that, but I don't think it will. Okay, Ben. It's just the, the easy chuck isn't as attractive as the SK114. It doesn't have the curves in the right places. <laughs> yeah, but it has that nice, speedy closing ring at the back of it. I like that. I like that yeah. idea on it. Just, and it closes it up, and then you tighten up with the key. I think that's a good thing. So the question is, how thin are we going? <laughs> oh, uh, a, oh, do you want to... Okay. Do you, you want to th well, think about it. The length of it for a start, so you don't want it too thin, do you? There's not why a huge my, length why is my left. Why YouTube frozen? Well, I think the to... stem should be... Down to here somewhere. You're right. So, so you. Mm. That's about so the same at... size as the cup, is it? Yeah. So you're looking at proportionally. I would think, um, you know, eight mil, seven or eight. <laughs> I wouldn't go five mil or anything. So I'll just get rid of a bit of this, and then I'll sand this up. Yeah. And then see what it. See what you. Oh, governor says. Fancy. Hold on a minute. Wait, he says. Wait. Hold on. You can change jaws and chucks. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Nobody tell my wife that. <laughs> mm. Well, obviously he's bought a chuck for every set of jaws. Yeah. Well, that's what I have. That's what I've done as well, Paul. It's great. No messing about changing changing jaws then. Just change the chuck. It's easy. Simple. But I, I did uh, a whole lot of searching on uh, eBay, etc. I picked them up. Second hand. That's why I've got so many. For twelve ninety nine each. Your cameras. For twelve ninety nine each. Yep. Um, you'd have a job. You'd have a job trying to find a SK one one four on eBay. Uh, Dara Cohen is correct in saying that Record Power and Nova will take each other's jaws, as do Patriot chucks from Robert Sorby as well. The right. Three manufacturers jaws all. Um. Interface with each other. The only odd one, well, not the only odd one, but the odd one is Ice Master in this country. Douglas Moore, the, check my question. Yeah. Douglas, Brian, Sorry. have you tried to find out? But I've tried to find out about insuring my shop, be told by a large bank. Who I am, I'm all not doing. Well, I wonder why I am did. with not. Yeah. Who I am with don't, not. Don't understand that. Eh? Do not. You try to insure your shop. You've been told Lloyd's Bank. Yeah. You're not going to do it with Lloyd's Bank. Is that what you mean, Douglas? I've been told Lloyd's Bank, who I'm with, Will not do it. Okay, so Lloyd's Bank don't do insurance for um, ah, shit. Just go somewhere else. I'll tell you somewhere what, else, mate. direct line, mate. NFU. Them. NFU. We'll, we'll been insure used. your shed. Um, NFU are actually good for insurance, guys. Farmers union. Insured. My my uh, house and car and everything else is insured by NFU. We do our tractors and everything. 
I did insure mine. I just insured mine on the Asian insurance. And you don't have to be a farmer. Just don't don't get don't make that mistake. Just because it's called the National Farmers Union, you don't have to be a a farmer got, to be insured by them. I've and they do a family long. discount scheme too, by the way. If you have two or three people who are insured, you get a discount. Direct line does that as well with your cars and yeah, your house and everything else yeah, they and do family. Now. They're and, all following uh, suit. And if you started that, yeah, but they just insure my workshop, my tools, everything, all my other equipment, yeah, yeah. as well as the house mm -hmm. and the car. Yep, most most insurance companies will insure it um, out of buildings now, including your insurance. Yeah, mm. you just if you got anything. If you've got anything over the... I think mine... I, if any, I've got any item over the value of three grand, I think I have to list it. That's all it is. Yeah, well, direct line said 6,000. Anything over that, you've got to list it. Other than that, we cover it. Yeah. Uh, Adam says that uh, his Vicmark VM100 was the same jaws as his record per 4,000 chuck. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. <coughs> Gary Glass. How dare you swear at me? He says, they do your Massey Ferguson's, Brian. Well, that's the only thing I won't do. Nobody insures Massey Ferguson. <laughs> if it's red, leave it in the shed. <laughs> it probably, you, probably won't, you probably won't get it started to take it out of the shed. It has the uh, same reputation as Land Rover for breaking down. Oh, don't you upset Steve? Oh, too bad. <laughs> Heather says, I, ha I only have one chuck, one key, no confusion. <laughs> I have to switch and switch. Of course, if anybody wanted to donate to the cause, I wouldn't object. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Heather. <laughs> Very good, Heather. <laughs> and Dara Crone says, what's an RP4000? Oh, that's... Uh, uh, I don't think it's a current chuck, but I'll just have a quick look. Not a current range, is it? Yeah, I don't think so. Right, so let's get the sand it, Steve. Went very quiet. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna take this down a little bit here. Precursor to the SC4, it was, says Adam. Yep, that's it. That's exactly what it was. It was the, the chuck prior to the SC4. And Paul would make one uh, very similar thing, a very similar thing. In fact, it's identical. Uh, the Fox FX4000 would come in chuck. All right, so let's get it sanded up. There we go. That was interesting. <laughs> Heather, Heather's really trying to, trying to influence the chat here. She says, uh, <coughs> it's Mother's Day the weekend try. after all. Oh. Is it? Not my mother, Heather. Uh, Krisky, hi Krisky, welcome hi. along. Krisky's in. Uh, Krisky has six Nova Chucks, Krisky. and two, uh, two G3 and uh, four Super Nova. They're quite popular, the Nova Chucks. Yeah. Yeah, they are, eh? It's the same Chuck as the record pair of Chucks. Kevin comes out of the same factory, I'm sure it does. I think everyone's come out of the same factory, all from China. Uh, the SC4's jaws don't fit the RP4000. Oh. Okay. Malcolm Douglas says he has an RP4000. He's had it for over 20 years. It's a good chuck. And those are the Axminster ones. That he has he had to put that in, didn't he? He had to put in the Axminster back, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he had to put in the Axminster. Heather says that's what a robot <laughs> says too, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> She's not his mother. I'm not <laughs> You're not my mother. Why would I need to buy you something? Right, Susie so the Swiss Turner is saying, Steve, do you want to take off a little bit more off the sapwood to reveal the stunning 
Colin. Well, if I do that, I think I'm going to go for it. Cause... No, Ellen, not sure. Is it really thin, is it? Yes, I reckon that's only two, two and a half mil. Oh, oh right, OK, you better stop there, then. See some of the oh, subtle... You see some... See... Yeah. see the R word for it, yeah. Yeah, if you sand a bit more, you'll get a bit more coming through. Don't sand your way all the way through it. Don't do a mark. Sure. Sand your way through the bottom of a bowl. That was impressive, I have to say. <laughs> Having said that, I've been there, I've been close to that on an occasion. The colours will this, pop. This, this really actually looks quite plain at the minute until you until you put some sanding seal or, or yeah, so just, something on it. Just what I was going to say that'll pop once you put some sanding yeah. seal on. It certainly will. It's a beautiful wood. I'm going to turn this a bit thinner, the stem. But I just want you to might want this... to go a bit longer then. Oh, bit if it's longer. going to be thinner, it has to be longer. I can get another little bit longer out of it. Yeah, I think you're You've got a very steep shoulder coming up the bottom of that. Where? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's, yeah, but I can always move no, the, the back. shoulder off the bottom of the, no, you know, the shoulder off the bottom of the goblet, just where you're yeah. standing now. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of looks like it's doesn't flow just quite right. It's kind of not round, is it? Drops off the edge. You want it round, do you? Is that what you're saying? It should be round, really. You should, should, I can make it. Yeah, I can make it. I can make, make, it, it, make it rounder round. if you want it rounder. Ra be careful right. now because you've got a thin you stem. I would, I would put a tennis ball in the end. Steady it. Steady it is right. Where's the something. tennis ball then? Because that shaft might break. Have you got a tennis ball? I have somewhere. Where, if I can find it or not, it's another matter. Oh, I know. Here it is. They found Heather's her. in Canada, she's saying. Why, why is Heather telling us she's in Canada? <laughs> Canada. We won't hold that against you, ever. Yeah. Oh, Adam's doing a live stream tomorrow. What time are you doing a live stream tomorrow, Adam? He's got to go. But he has a live <laughs> demo tomorrow. He's, oh, it's a live demo he's doing. Oh, live and where is this happening, Adam? Yeah, give us some more information, buddy. Get it round at the top as well, Steve. An in-person demo. Where about, Adam? Where, where, where? In case anybody can come and see. Can you bring the top around? The outside What's... edge? Here. No, no, the outside edge, the bottom of, bottom of the Here? dish. Yeah, around that. Um, I don't know. Make sure you don't go there's, through, right? There's not a lot of meat on Make the sure corner. Make sure you don't go through. Okay, no oh, worry no. then. I'll check it. Don't worry about it then. Don't do it if you can. But... Um, no, because the actual bus bottom and no. out just on that corner. That's it. Don't worry. No problem. Breakling on sea. Brightling Adam says, sea. Barry, Where's come Brightling to Breitling on Sea. Where is that? I have no idea. I bet it's the steam side coast. coast. Yeah, uh, yeah, coast. North, east, south, or west? I'm going to look it up. Breitling on Sea. Welsh coast. Is that better? That's better. There's a paddling pool in Breitling on Sea. How thin you're going to go with that? Uh, well, breaking your sea is. Uh, um, I don't know, to be honest. Just re that. Breaking your sea is not far from Colchester. Uh, then? Where's Colchester? Colchester is near Chelmsford. Essex? Um, well, I don't know if it's Essex. It's just, above, nice. it's just above where Steve lives. Yeah, culture spent an hour and a half from me. On the map. Huh. So Adam's a neighbour of yours then. Steve. Oh, below Steve. It comes, it's from his. Uh, let me see. How do you go? You know where Chelmsford is? I say just outside London. Who are you talking to? Anybody who's yeah. listening? Nobody's Anybody's listening. listening. All right, okay. That's where it is. It's near Coast. Essex Coast. Coast. It's the Essex Coast. The Essex Coast, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Felixstowe. Not far from Felixstowe. You know where Felixstowe is? I do. And there you go. It's not far from Felixstowe. Yeah, 
I've educated you again. I'm forever educating you, Terry. <sighs> I know. Right, so anyway, so Gerard's knackered, he says. Ah. He's going to go and get some shut eye in bed. All right. All right Good day, Gerard. Gerard. 260 days tomorrow. Archie's late, he says. For Archie, oh, we're hold on, Archie. Doesn't matter if you're late, mate. We don't mind. You ain't, miss, you ain't, you ain't missed nothing, mate. Yeah, missed nothing. Hey, when you miss Steve hollowing out the inside of a goblet. And us yapping. Uh, yeah, and us uh, chatting away. Being idiots as usual. Trying to keep you all entertained. Entertained? No, I'm, not, I'm not trying to entertain anybody. No, Entertainment? Know. What's that about? Is that you? You're born as anything. <laughs> Don't choke on your water. <laughs> and he says, uh, it's between Colchester and Clacton upon Sea. I said it's between. Between, that's what I said. Between. No, it says between. 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 Is that how they talk in Essex? Between. It's between. All right, Andy. <laughs> Well, have fun well, anyway, Andy, good, wherever Good it is. luck tomorrow, Matt. Hope yeah, you have a, a real yeah. success. Oh, so do I. Enjoy yourself, buddy. If all else, just enjoy it. Just have fun it. doing it. Don't worry about anybody else. You I love it. It's the important thing. Right, so that's, um, that's sanded. Right, so take this down a little bit thinner. Perfect. Yeah, how thin are you going to go with that? Yeah. Don't go eight mil. If you, well, if you turn it down a bit thinner, you think you somebody go, turned it with an axe. You have to go a bit longer if you go thinner, you know, to make it look proportional. I can go longer. I've got plenty of meat on there, so. Yeah, yeah. So Archie is calling us from Bonnie. Oh, Strath High Pressure. I can't even say that. And I'm from Scotland. Strathair. Strathair. Perthshire. I don't know where Perthshire is, because I'm from Kerrymere. Which is in County Angus, which borders Persia. Well, which actually holds Persia up, of course. Where they get the Angus steaks from? No, that's Aberdeen, I guess. I it was Ca- you said County Angus. Where they get the steaks? Yeah, County Angus, yeah. Then they called it Tayside for a while, and then they reverted back to Angus. Douglas Mung says it's near Walton on Sea. Which bit we talking about? We don't know if our body lives in Essex as well. Well, that's not your fault. Yeah, buddy, I suppose oh, you were okay, born there, mate. Uh, Only if you move there, it's, uh, if you move to Essex, that's trouble. In. Hello, Keith. Yes, you are late. Don't be sorry. Apparently, the only way is Essex. Not sure. Oh, Keith, you're never late again. Jeez, no, it's not likely no. to be late. No. I know some people. It's early for you, Keith. It's all right, Keith. We already know who's on, on, on Tuesday. Andy's already. Yeah, Keith. Keith. <laughs> Keith. Can, can you just Steve's confirm? Turning, Steve's turning a bit of laburnum. I'll bet you copy him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Terry, that's a shock. He can't. That's a joke, because Andy's already just told us that he, you'd be both turning Laburnum, which is a coincidental. Uh, coincidentally, yeah. Welcome aboard, anyway, Keith. You're welcome. <gasps> that's rare, it is. It's what? Not known, Archie you said sad to hear it's not known. Yeah. So I think I must look it up. You come from Scotland, you've got to look it up. Hmm. God blimey, Brian. You've been in Ireland too long. Northern Ireland too long. Oh. It's a human settlement in, in Scotland, apparently. That's what it says. It's a human settlement in Scotland. A human settlement? So can you... That's what it says. <laughs> they got one it's in two. the Trussocks. It's Could in you, the Trussocks. Uh, you explain this then, Brian? I explain what, mate? Well, I can't remember. It was a long time ago that Dave Oti left to take a dog for a walk. He did. And now he says he's back and he will give the dog a good run after the live. Blimey, that was a long enough run now. He's been away for ages. He has. Oh, I know what it is now. It's north of Stirling. Yeah. Jeff's a tipsy turner. The Loch Lomond is going to turn a Laburnum resin hybrid next week. Yes. You. Mm. 
Only if Steve sends me it. Oh, I'm glad you're Richard. Hello, I'm Richard glad you're Welcome aboard. I can't afford dress now when you're a poor pensioner. Your word suppliers just joined Brian. Say hello to him. Hi, Richard. Good evening, buddy. Thanks for that stu stupendous piece of uh, view you gave me and a ton the other day. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. stunning. Triple the price next time. Have a good look at Don't the Don't you dare. Shut up, Terry. Shut up, Terry. Shut up. It's only 10 miles from calendar. I know calendar. Why do I know calendar? I've been to calendar for some unknown reason. From a distant memory somewhere. Only calendar <laughs> new on says, well, there's humans in Scotland, yes, there are, Neil. And they're, they're known to be violent, so you be careful, Mr. Neil M. Gary says everything's better north of Stirling. Yeah, he's absolutely right. In fact, everything's better north of the T. Right. John Scarra wishes to know, Steve, is there a formula for the diameter of the base the, and the di <laughs> diameter of the goblet? Um, I can tell you, is it? We should it, always have the base just slightly less than the goblet diameter. The, 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 the rim of the goblet should be Slightly, slightly larger, larger than the base, yeah. The base, but I not think. too much. But it's it's, it's purely a, of the eye. It's purely an aesthetic thing. What your eye sees is is pleasing. Now remember that the golden ratio is the probably the most pleasing shapes. You can work on that, and the golden ratio can be distilled down to the, the rule of thirds or fifths. Point, as one well. point one six seven five nine. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But you can distill it down to thirds or fifths to try and get your... But basically, it's purely what your eye sees is nice. Because hmm. everybody's slightly different. But Lockery is fantastic. Uh, Douglas, I spent a miserable weekend in Pit Lockery. And the Don't only thing I've seen apart Steve from the rain... Asking. Oh, it's too late. I see you didn't ask in time, you lot. Yeah, it's too slow. Captain Ring. Don't be stupid, people. See, if old Pete's not here, he'd be having convulsions, mate. Captain Frings. Well, Captain I know you want, to, you want to make that base now a nice curve coming up. Did you Did you know that, that this is going to be, this is going to, oh, he's made that too long. You uh, told me to make it longer, if thinner. Yeah, yeah but I didn't tell you to make it that long and just leave yourself half an inch for a bottom. There's plenty on a bottom there. Make sure you, you make sure you curve that up to where it is then. Yeah, it's got a nice convex. No G or convex. Not con not concave. Con oh, yeah, not con convex, but concave, should I say. Oh, we do a concave, so go in and out. Concave, yeah, concave. In and out. No, you're going the wrong way. Is being on the day. Okay, Mr. Brown. It is, Val. As long as you're on the north side of it, on the north bank, the south bank, mm, you might just get away with it, Val. Oh, Andrew was right. One point one six, one point six one eight. I know it's one point something. Six. I'm only winding. I'm only winding up, Val, because I know you're from five hundred, which is south of the day. One point six one eight. Yeah, that's right. Basically, what it looks like. What, what looks good. If it looks good to your eye. It's done. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. That's what Gary. I do. That's I'll what I said, Gary. That's good. That's good. <laughs> But then some people have a nice artistic eye, a bit like yourself. You kind of is that one of your paintings behind you? By the way, no, one of my granddaughters. I told her. Oh, it's your granddaughter. Not much difference. <laughs> That's it. She's only three. Four. She's only four at a time. She's only four at a time. Yeah. Actually, is yeah, Doug, Douglas Monger says the weather was bad in Port Lockery because I was there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks, Douglas. It rained the whole weekend, and the only thing I seen was the only thing I managed to see was the salmon ladder. It's horrendous. <laughs> you probably won't remember, Brian. I know some. Uh, I know this. some lovely people from Fife Bar, and you're Back. probably one of them. No, listen to me, Brian. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I've got to listen to you now, Terry. Back in the seventies, they used to have a program on called "Paint Along with Nancy." I know. It was half an hour program. I know you were on it, weren't you? And I painted along with her one day. This I is painted what she along painted. with Nancy. And that's what I painted. 
Oh, well, we'll have to show the people that at the end. You keep that to one side. That looks quite nice. An Italian. Yeah. I was going to Italian. say yeah, an Italian piazza or something. Yeah. And she painted it, and I'll paint it along as well, and I'll finish exactly the same time. And my mother said, wow. Hey. Yeah. How did you do that? With ease, mama. It was... She says, I've been to Pertocchi fan for several years. It's a great place. Okay. My sister likes it too. She goes and stays in some hotel at Pertocchi. It's a real fancy hotel. Uh, I've never been to that. Oh, I'm, I'm a poor pensioner, you see. Just right. What are you say, Steve? So I better sound that, I suppose. Is that an OG base you've made? Oh, no. In and out. That's what you told me to do. Are you happy with it? Well, it's a base. Okay. Right. Different. I'm just asking, mate. Artistic impression. Autistic yeah, impression. Oh, autistic. Yeah. I've got a bit of chip well, on this. So I just can't ask this gimmick for rain, too, Richard. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Gallic. 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 Ben Chandler. One of the best tips I was ever given was not to let the blank side dictate the piece. I've fallen down that trap so many times and still do. And it shows. Yeah, yeah. because you try, what people try and do is they try and keep the most of the, as, as much of the wood because it's good as they yeah. can. But try to maximise the look the of the wood. piece then. Don't That's maximise it. Do it to what you what really looks nice to you. Yep. And the word will I, stand up. I have the same problem, Ben. I'm always getting told off for, for trying to part off right at the chop. Just, just watch Bob Ross in the 70s. Yeah. So did I. I've painted loads of pictures like you painted. Yeah, but someone told me to make it longer and thinner. And yeah, but we didn't tell you to make it that That's long. Fine. You said another half inch. No, I said you've only left no, yourself you half Steve. an inch at the bottom. It looks, it looks good because you've turned it. That's what counts. We've all said, I used to live in a field with travellers in Montrose. Now, Montrose is actually a nice place. I have Not to say that. Yeah. Oh, Montrose. Or where is it? Montrose is Scotland, you mum. Oh, it's Scotland. They make shuckers always, don't they? I thought Montrose was a, was a place in America or Canada. It probably is, but it originates in Scotland. Well, I've never heard of it in Scotland. Oh, well, look it up. Don't be such a heathen. I don't want to look. You're look, to be like somewhere you're, colder. You're starting to be what, like one of them Americans, you know. I don't know anything colder. outside your own Scotland. state. It's always colder in Scotland. Uh, you're right, it is, because it's up the further north. Yeah. Usually wet, too, because we get the wet yeah, from across the Atlantic. Wet. Yep. It's been wet here today. It's rained here all day. That's it. Brilliant yep. sunshine here. Brilliant sunshine. I know, and it was that cold here today, I had to turn the heating on. Oh, just remember you're a pensioner. I know, the Michelle gave me a hard time. As soon as she came back, she was out with her friend today. As soon as she came back in the house, are you turning that heating off? And then she said that about ten times after that. The answer was no then. So, so, So the heating is off now, of course. Yeah, I did say no, but then I went to bed for a while because I'm not feeling very Ah, that's it, Tim Montreal, I'm thinking. Yeah, sorry, mate. Gary Glass, yeah, you, you have to read that comment from Gary Glass, Terry. Ah, Terry. Oh. Billier Ed Eid Low. Never heard of Montreal. <laughs> whatever that is. Ah, Terry, we buy your heat. Never heard of Montreal. One bell your head. It's a good Glasgow expression. Uh, Stephen, the wood dude's back. Sorry, I had to go and cook. We had to do some oh, cooking. Do you, what's this cooking nonsense, Stephen? You a lot cook has as happened well. here. It has happened. Yeah, you're you're, you're yeah. letting us down. You're letting the side down badly. <laughs> nice artistic pieces and cooking as well. Jeez, I know. You'll get us all a bad reputation, Stephen. I want to make stuff, Stephen. I, I want to make Stephen, stuff. Stephen, he says. Good evening, I want to make stuff. <laughs> Dave says, don't tell him to look it up, Brian. You might want another holiday. He won't go to Scotland, it's too cold. Oh, okay. I've been to Scotland, I've been all over Scotland. Yeah. And the islands and islands. Everywhere. Stephen says he cooks every day. Yeah, so do I. <sighs> Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Yeah, Terry What's that famous river? I forgot the name of it now. River in Scotland. Tay. Tay. Fish that. Forced of fish. What's the others? 
What's the other ones? There's loads in there. Um, yeah, real famous. Fished for salmon up there. Did a lot of trained salmon fishing when I was younger. Fished all over the UK. The, the, the Tay is famous for salmon. Yeah, fish up. Uh, can I remember the name of the river that goes into Inverness? Went up to, uh, what was that place I went to? Aviemore. Aviemore, yep, that's in the yeah, Rampian Mountains. Rivers, a few rivers up there. Skiing, it's a skiing resort mainly. Yeah, well, it wasn't, I wasn't skiing, it was just summertime. So. Yeah, but when you go in the summertime, it's a beautiful place in the summertime. Yeah. The Spey, that Gary Glass suggests. Spey, that's the one. Fish the spay, yeah, definitely fish that. Caught fish there too. That's good if you've gone fishing. It's always a bonus. Yeah, but well, they don't like it when they catch you catch your salmon. They don't like it. Notice the salmon. Yeah, I went fly, I went fly fishing once on a, on a loch near near Blair Gowrie. So I remember the name, a loch near Blair Gowrie. Loch. Loch near Blair Gowrie. I sat all day with my uh, sister's boyfriend. And we, fi- we f- were fly fishing all day in the, the rain. And the only thing that caught a fish was an osprey. Yeah. We never caught a damn thing. But there was about half a dozen ospreys flying over every now and again. And, zzz, oh, and off they went with the fish. Mm. Well, we didn't catch a thing. But we've seen some nice birds. I remember a company used to work for back way back. And they had this, like, fishing club in the in the business. And, you know, Basingstoke was the headquarters and you know, they had this trout lake up Basingstoke way. And they had this fishing competition in the, in the magazine. He said, anybody can come from, you know, from the workforce and fish here, blah, blah, blah. Cost you £10 for the day. Big prizes, £100, £200 prizes and all this. I said to Reef, we're going all day. And we'll have two days, the two-day competition. No, one-day competition. And we'll go one day somewhere else. Fishing this bloody lake. For... So I took up this old pair of octagonal Polaroid sunglasses that Reese had. And we were fishing this place. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you you were told to move every half an hour. A whistle went, you moved to the next, you know, move around so other people could fish where you were. And I caught three huge trout fish. One was about 28 pound in weight. Massive great trout. And two other biggish ones. And then they blew the horn for the end of the day and Ruth and I had two I had two on my shoulder so you couldn't see them and I walked back down through and Ruth was carrying this little one and they were all displaying their fish because I was miles away with them I'd finished they were all displaying this fish on the grass and they were counting who's going to win and they said oh you come to this idiot from Devon and I'll go you hear him saying it like and we walked up and Ruth said what about that then he said oh that's not going to win it so I flipped these two over my shoulder I said what about that then <gasps> Made it into the magazine. I won't sell 200 quid. <laughs> so there's, uh, there's uh, a couple of things going on here. Dara says she's uh, supposed to be cutting grass, but it's 91 oh degrees and it feels like 97. So after this, you go take a nap and then go and cut the grass before it's dark so it's not so hot. Yeah. Uh, I want to make stuff, says. Have I missed any SK114 banter tonight? No. No, no, you're, so, you're, no. You're, you're very close to being timed out if you start Nobody's by ever, again. Ever, ever said it. Nobody said it. And, and the wood well, dude says. Maybe one or two people. I think it looks great so far, Steve, but he's not too sure about the green lid. Oh, I like the lid. Yeah. I'm going to make a little head thing you for it. It'll be perfect. <laughs> it's going to make a little tennis racket uh, finial. All right. So I'm going to sand and seal the outside. And then I'll. Um... Brilliant. Terry, where are you go? I'm just going to get a drink. Terry's away for another glass of red wine, folks. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's have a swig of my drink. I'll just have a swig out of this water bottle that I'm need drinking to, out. I need to know basis. I need to know. <laughs> ben Jammer says, I think this video is stuck in a loop. Steve keeps sanding the stem. Well, I was at 22 mil. I want to get down to 10 mil. <laughs> <laughs> and he's afraid to use it. He's afraid to he use the every, scra- every scratch out of it. That's it. what it is. <laughs> Good dude likes my tennis racket idea. It's cool. Ugh. Don't do that, Stephen. 
No, covered in sand and seed, all over my nice new smock. Oh, you did, didn't you? Is this the one you got bought for your birthday? Yeah, and it could kill me if you see that. Your, oh. uh, your 50th birthday. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, or is it your 50th smock? No, it's 50th year on the planet. So he's on the downhill slope now, guys. He's a baby. Once you get to 50, it's all downhill. Just a now. baby. It's been downhill for a long while, mate. <laughs> He's only a bambino. Ah, uh, there's a bambino. Carrying glasses. Boom! Look at those colours. Yeah, look at those colours, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely stunning piece of wood. Love it. Mind you, can we go back to the start? Can you rewind it, Steve, and we'll make a vase instead? <laughs> oh, okay. Rewind it, we'll make a box. Lidded box. What's this? Would do says maybe maybe we should have a hashtag crazy finny all week. Yeah, could do that. Oh, Stephen, uh, it's on the cards at some point. Hold hold that thought, Stephen. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it's on the cards at some point, Stephen. It is. Be gentle, Stephen. Don't snap that. That'll give you a little heads up for uh, for what's coming in the near future. May not be next month. There may be finials ahead. They'll be long and pointy and short and stubby. Come round. Hey, Brian. Possibly not red. No, Tim's Possibly got a good not. idea as well, like he says, and it's skew only. Skew only. Yeah, that's, that's, per, that's stopped you, Brian. And hey, others. I can use a skew. <laughs> I might not be very good at it, but I can use a skew. Too thick finial. Have the odd catchy bow. Right. Let's uh, get some wax oh. on it. And Val is crying out in the back, right? <laughs> novice! Novice? Oh, yeah, novice! Noise, noise. You noise. don't have to. Oh, it's nice, you said. No, it's not. It's novice. Another noise. drink says noise. Noise. It's noise. Noise. It's noise. 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 Right. noise. I suppose about you, Yorkshire Grit, on it. Nice. Well, I would put um, I would put uh, the tennis ball back in then because you're going to be pressing fairly hard. What he says it's 26 degrees Archie. Celsius in the log cabin tonight. Where's the log cabin, Archie? How about it's next to a lake? Cabin. That's far too hot. Okay, class finals. I'm struggling to keep the keep. I'm struggling to not keep the lace bob and thingy on the job. Well, that's right. You ch turn okay, it between right. centers if they're easy. Oh, between centers, yeah, exactly. You don't need a chop for a finial uh, for a um, lace bobbin. Dave Oldie can use a skew. He says he opens his Yorkshire, he opens his Hampshire machine with it. Yeah, that's what I used to use mine for. I dropped mine the other day. I took a chip out the corner of the heel, took a little chip out of it. So annoying. See, I'm not Scottish, but I still got it right. We vow says Terry was right. It's noise. Noise. That's not Scottish. Sounds That's like what I was Essex. Noise. That sounds like an Essex word. Birmingham. 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 Noise. Birmingham. Noise. Birmingham. Noise. Birmingham. Noise. Birmingham. Noise. <sighs> Unlike you, when you go and talk to your neighbour, Brian. Oh, hello, Mary. How are you doing? <laughs> hello, Mary. <laughs> How are you doing, sure, there, Mary? Mary? How are you doing, Mary? <laughs> Just the crack there, Mary. How are you? How the devil are you? The Scotland goes out the window. Ireland comes in. She will not She will not But she. Were, his name was mine. But her name's Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> 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 who's this? Who's this, Mary? Who's this, Mary? You keep calling me. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Michael McEwen says, awesome goblet, Steve. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And you too, Michael. Hope you, you too, have a mate. great weekend. Enjoy. Right. Is it the weekend tomorrow? Damn. It's the effect? weekend. The weekend started today. They all run into one to me. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> We turn around, Barry says, no, Brian. My, Use it. My Essex. weekend. My people weekend say it started proper. in uh, oh, six years ago. Five years, something like that. Essex people say it proper. Would you believe that? 
five years. Of ago. course, Barry, you're right. The only way is Essex. So we all shake at this, <laughs> and then we'll polish it. <laughs> Dave, what he says. To be fair, my guy spends more time on the wood than any other tool. I have that shelf. It's made of wood. <laughs> yeah, mine stands in a wooden rack. What is the most used tool in anybody's toolbox? Let's go. Me. No, oh, you're not. You are, Steve. Well, uh, you are, maybe. Yeah. Okay. The most used tool. Wood turning tool I'm talking about. My skew chisel. What is the tool you use most whilst wood turning? I have to clarify that there, just in case. Because so the most used tool for wood turning is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. No. Your, within Beagles. your wood turning collection, which which tool do you everybody use? Everybody has a favourite tool, I think. What is the one you use most? My three eight bowl gouge. Yep, I agree with that. That's it. That's we vow says the pointy carbide. The pointy carbide. That's a detailing tool. I think you call that. Um, well. This one that's kind of like diamond shaped. Reverse mount the tip. Three eighth bull gouge is my second. One drawing. like that. Is that one like that's that? It. That's it. Yep, yeah. that's the one. That's a Three eighth bull gouge is my second tool after after the skew. <laughs> Douglas Mullen says the chair. <laughs> Very good. The chair. <laughs> the coffee machine. Richard says a bull gouge followed by a skew. Yeah. Uh, Gary says, my wee brush and shovel for picking up the pieces is just flown off the lathe. Norma says, a 3 inch bull guy. Angle grinder, says Stephen. <laughs> 40 <laughs> minus an angle grit. grit. Plus 40, 40 grit. grit angle grinder. Nothing wrong with a bit of 40 grit, Stephen. Uh, get the two marks off. Andy's a 3 inch bull gauge. Archie's a half inch bull gauge. Which could be a 3 8. Which could be a 3 8 because if Archie's in the, U in, in, uh, the US the or flutes, Canada, so it will be. Yeah, it will be. Brian's is a, a vacuum half cleaner. Mine's is a vacuum cleaner, that's true. Yeah. Most used to be the lathe itself. Yeah, the lathe, yeah. Home Brewers then. Hi, Home Brewer, that's a new name. Good evening, welcome. Welcome to the Madhouse. It doesn't have to be mad, but it really helps. Mm -hmm. Welcome along. Home Brewer, let me see. Just having a quick look. Ah, Home Brewer has no videos. But he has some nice playlists. No videos. Hundreds of them. Hundreds of videos. Hey. Home Brewer. Oh, he hasn't. Yes. He hasn't. This channel has no videos. Oh, and the home page, you've got creative Quick playlists. projects easy, full playlists, full playlists. Hey, yeah, that's playlists. playlists are, oh, you yeah. can create your own playlists. The you don't have to turn there, I think. Watch his Martin as well. No well, better man to watch. Especially if it... Welcome along, sir. Yeah. Uh, no subscribe to the, to see the nice. All right, so get some wax on it then. High gloss, oh, high, yeah, gloss, high gloss, high gloss, I think. Douglas Mungham says a 5 8 bull gauge. Spindle gauge for sure. TF says he has a half inch bull gauge that still has a traditional grind on it. That's how little it is used. Oh. I've got a 5 8 <laughs> bull gauge. Heather a, says, a, Heather says her favourite tool is sandpaper. I have a 5 inch bowl gauge as well, which is ground to 60 degrees that I use for well, doing the bottom. traditional grind, it just goes straight bowls. across the bottom. Yeah. Depending on the shape of the bowl. And I've used it for 30 odd years. Get a bit short now, but whatever. Keith's a half inch bowl gauge. See, there's not a lot of difference between a 3 eighths and a half inch bowl gauge, to be honest. Just that's that. Oh, that's that. I wonder what that white thing was in front of my camera. Very glassy, oh, man, that's a lovely goblet. Thank you. Better would be, didn't we? So I'm going to give us two or three coats of wax because I'd like a nice shine on it. I should leave it on the lathe. Are oh, you going to do it now, yeah? Keep yeah. Printing them all. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, come on, I'm thinking. He's not part right. off. He's gonna have to sand the bottom off it. He can't part that off now. He never oh, get in there. I get in there. What's the matter with you, man? Oh, he's very close to the chuck. Ooh. Loads of room in there. I get a room and bus oh, in there. Scary biscuits. What's the worst oh, can mean, happen? I could drop oh, it. He, did you say you get a bus in there? Yeah. In a Land Rover. Oh. As big as a bus. Might well get a bus in there. He God says that's Offy Bonnie. What's that Affy Bonnie mean? Offy Bonnie. That means very, very good. Very lovely. Put children with Bonnie. No, Offy Bonnie. Bonnie can be used as an adjective to describe anything that's nice. True, Douglas. 5A doesn't vibrate as much. That's correct. Just because it's got a heavier bar, that's correct. If you don't overhang the tool rest too far, it shouldn't vibrate. <gasps> Who's that? Is that Ruth? Nicholas. You smiled at somebody there. Nicholas. Nicholas. Gary Glass is awfully nice. Hold on, Gary. Awfully nice, yeah. Loads of room in there, says Stephen. <laughs> to make, make a matching match. lid. Yeah, right, that's <laughs> 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 He would. He would. Yeah, you're a gag, Stephen. All right, it's the last coat of wax. You're looking lovely, mate. Look at that Iron Man Scanovich. It's the last coat. We've done two. It's the third one. And then I'll do the inside. So I'll use a bit of safety cloth just to buff this off. Sixty-three people were the extra. Oh, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us. They knew yeah, you no. were showing Andy and Keith how to turn laburnum as well. Giving Andy and Keith a few tips there. I don't think I could teach them gentlemen yeah. much. Mr. G, Mr. G's would tell me, he says, I thought you had a big tool mark on the stem. It was a mark on my monitor. All good now. <laughs> yeah. He cleaned the glass. <laughs> All good now. <laughs> right, so we've just got to wax the inside. Oh, jeez. Does that mean yes, I can, Gary? No. I I can, Gary. That means he knows. Oh, okay. I can. Do you can? You can well, Gary. Do you can? What? Do you know? Talking Do you know? Foreign languages. Languages. It's not a foreign language. It's Scottish. It's foreign. It isn't foreign. It's only foreign to you, English rabble. Foreign. That's why we will rise up again and be the nation again. It's yeah, we'll moments. see. Talking of that, what's what she called? I can't remember her name now. What's called? What's called? What's called? Sturgeon. I don't know. Yeah, that fish. Nicola. Nicola. Sturgeon. Sturgeon. The poison dwarf. Yeah, there's another. No, she used to be on television, is she? Hey. Sturgeon. I can't remember her name. No, the, the crankies are you thinking about? Yeah, I said the cranky, yeah. Little cranky. Widow cranky. She's, a, she's just took another 23 councils. So she's, she'll be banging for independence again tomorrow. That's Nicholas Sturgeon you're talking about, who is the First Minister of Scotland. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the cranky. <laughs> she won't be the last, though. Yeah. Poison right. dwarfs the colour in Scotland. All right, let's get this part off. <laughs> Don't you catch that, Chuck. <laughs> Stephanie. Oh, that's up. Hey, Colin, do we see a little Colin there, do we? Ben says he's being reminded of Rab C. Nesbitt. Yeah, you got it, man. You got it, Ben. Oops. Yeah, that's a great programme. We'd say this. Where exactly is Scotland? Is it anywhere near Milton Keynes? <laughs> yeah. It's close. You just it's take the third roundabout. Further north. It's no, no, you just take north. the third roundabout and turn left. You'll, you'll end up in Scotland. Keep going, yeah. Loads of room, look. What's the matter with you, look? Look how much room I have left just on got, that. 
Oh yeah, it's done. Plenty. Yeah, done. Just got yeah. the A one and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. You'll get there. Yeah. You will. You get there. A one goes up to Scotland. It does. A one goes to Scotland. Yep. Longest road in the UK. <laughs> Boring us road and all. <laughs> it is. The boring is The boring is road. Is yeah. boring is really a word, Steve? Yeah, it, is what, that it, it is when you're driving on the A1. Yeah. This is when you live in Norfolk. Even even, even the sat nav and the cruise control get fed up of going up the A1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it comment, you know when you get the comment, it says, make a U turn. It, it, it doesn't say that in the A1, it just says, I'm bored you know, now. Yeah, for the next 67 miles, please drive straight. <laughs> <laughs> David Vaughan says, Eddie on, I live on the near in Milton Keynes. <laughs> I'm still bored. Right, so it's sand the bottom off. The only town without a roundabout. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty. That's lovely, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, lovely job, Keynes is a disaster. Roundabouts. I don't know, maybe there must be hundreds of them. It's the strangest city centre. Or town centre. Is it a city or is it a town? It was a new town when they built it. The city it's centre was the really weird. I hate to tell you, Brian, but all towns are new when they build them. Yeah, well, it was built as a... As a uh, yeah, it was a new, new town, town development thing. Yeah. The whole thing was built all at once. If you like. and, and everything was... The Americans all dead straight and then turned left, turned yeah. right. All, all crossroads. No roundabouts, yeah. none of them. Strange Boys thing there. in the town centre. And then they put that link road all the way around the outside with a million roundabouts on it. All right, so sign this up to 240, I David think. David lives in Milton Keynes. I didn't say there's anything wrong with Milton Keynes. Yeah, All the people from too. Milton Keynes are just bloody nuisance for roundabouts. Mind yeah. you, the A17's like that. Yeah, the A17's like that, yeah, yeah. Round about every, about every mile. Yeah. And it's always jam-packed. Uh, Andy H says, you can admire the concrete cows as you drive past Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes is where Bletchley Park is as well, isn't it? It's close to there. I've been to Bletchley. Yep, it's all right. The Radio Society of Great Britain has got a radio room in Bletchley. Oh, haven't they? Yeah. Very good. Because I went up there once and... Yeah, there. Richard Fionn says it's a bit like Craig Avon. It's exactly like Craig Avon, only Osher. Right. I went up there once and Bruce said to me, ah, look, it says the RSGB radio room. So I knocked on the door and said... Can I come in? I said, Oh, you can only come in if you're a radio am. I said, Yeah, I'm a radio am. Oh, are you? Come in then. Prove you're a radio am. I said, Give me a Morse code key. I sat there and sent Morse code at 45 words a minute. And they all looked up at me and said, Blimey. <laughs> yeah, blimey is right. It's 45 words a minute in Morse code is really fast. Pretty fast. It's quite it's, fast. Just in case that's you what don't. I got to. No, it's not quite fast, Terry. It's really fast. That's what I got to. I was in the army and uh, we didn't have more codes, and it was uh, 16 words a minute was acceptable. Yeah, but the only trouble is the squad on the end is like super fast. The only trouble is with the army, the squad on the end, if he weren't very intelligent, couldn't keep up. Couldn't keep up, that's right. He said to me, You weren't sending words then, you were sending sentences. I said, Well, yeah, you asked me to prove it. Exactly. What's a word to them? And I told him, of course, five five letters is, is classes, five letters a word, is or five numbers. Yep. So. Most of Morse code uh, during the war, anyway, in particular, was sent in groups of five letters and code of some description. Slade X, probably. That's it. Right. Slade X or code X. It's a bit difficult when you're trying to read it at that speed, and they send letters and numbers yeah, at letter. the same time. Yeah. But you know, you can do it. Yeah, and there's no such thing as recording it and playing it back again. You no, had to get it your first ears, time. You had to get in fact, it I was writing time. it down and the, they'd finished sending it and I was still writing it for another minute because <laughs> I couldn't write quick enough. Remember what I was writing. Remember the sentence. But, anyway, yeah. bit ben, ben Jalman says, a lot of our roundabouts don't have a centre island. So people just drive straight over them. <laughs> yeah, we we have little mini roundabouts like that now, and people just yeah. ignore them. You just drive over them. They had a pretty like wells like in the middle, painted hump. They had a pretty deep, ten foot deep well in the middle. Or something. So just drive in them. 
disappear. Yeah. Where did that car go? <laughs> Just put a little bit of wax on the bottom of that. Well, so, kind of says, you made a grand job of that, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. So, there we go. There we, we haven't go. been watching, but... David Vaughan lives David. just around the corner from Bletchley Park. Oh, yeah, aren't they? I drove past your house not, not long ago when I was coming back from Steve's birthday party. The enigma of things at Bletchley, isn't it? But we drove past Bletchley Park. Oh, that. The enigma. Brilliant bit of care. On the way home to Bristol. Oh, no. On the way Alan going Turing's to Steve's, it was. Yeah, Alan Turing, yeah. The, uh, what's the name? To, to break the enigma machine. Break the code of the Enigma machine, yeah. But they were struggling until they got the Enigma machine itself. Well, yeah, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Gary Glass, <laughs> yeah, all, all after dot, dot, dot. dot, dot, dot. Oh, wow, well, there you go. Did I, did I, did. Well, if you practice, if you practice Morse code, Gary, it's, they used to practice the words best beef essence. That gives you dots and dashes, and it goes something like da 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 Got a little bit coming through there, and then you got obviously that was a that was a branch inclusion, obviously, weren't it? So, the swirl, Mr. G, it says a lovely Steve, nice little pattern in the bottom. Steve, Neil M, very nice Steve. It's nice because that lines up with that. So, well, there's Terry's picture. (laughs) He hasn't hasn't brought you back on screen yet. I'll bring you back now. No, no, bring bring Terry back on screen for goodness sake. Goodness sake, desperate show us. Pardon me, any of the old uh, highlight highlight on it. Like Any of you that. old people, old people remember painting with Nancy? Nancy hang on, Terry. Let me hang on. This is Let me blow you up. Hang on, Terry. Hang on. Stop, oh, Terry. Wait. Blow me up. Wait for blow your cue, up. man. For goodness sake. Ah. 1977, this was. When I was a young chicken. Ah. My blue up. Here we there we go. Pop your pop. <laughs> Do your whole spiel now. Painting with Nancy. Paint along yeah. with Nancy. That is an Italian whatever. Italiano. Yeah, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. An Italiano street scene. And a paint the same speed as her. She practiced. Oh, well. well done, Steve. That was great. So welcome. Well done, Steve. Welcome to Painting well done, with Steve. Terry. <laughs> Painting yes, with Terry on Thursday. <laughs> it was going to be that. Actually, it's going to be, it's going to be something like that next time. Won't be Thursday, if- Right. It's painting with Terry on Thursday. Alrighty. So there we go. No, painting Alrighty. with Terry on Thursday. Probably be choose, it'll probably be Tuesday night painting with Terry and Thursday night fly time with Terry. More school with Terry on Tuesday lunchtime. I'm not oh, going sorry, back to Keith. Mor- <laughs> still listening. I'm not, I'm not going to more school. I'm not going no, back to more What school. I'll do is uh, I'll alternate between one and the other. Right. So. Such a fun. Piece first time I've ever turned laburnum, and I must admit that's quite, it's blinking. It's lovely. a nice piece of wood to turn, really nice. Don't get hardly you don't get any tear out on it. Really nice cuts. Yep, really really nice. And Roy cuts doesn't like live far from you, does he, Steve? No, he doesn't. Because he said he's got tons of it in his garden. Oh, Roy, that's a shame, Roy. I think I've got just the right space in the back of my workshop. <laughs> <laughs> just, I've just got a lovely chainsaw here. I'll just go and sharpen the blade. <laughs> right. So, um, what did we end up with? Size, size. Yeah. We ended up with seventy-five along the top. Overall length was uh, seven inches, and the base is sixty mil. So lovely. ninety, Very sixty, good. seven inches, or one hundred ninety mil. I think, isn't it? seven inches. No, seven inches is 180 right. mil. Yeah, it is. So there we go. Nice thin stem. Yes, smashing. I reckon that stem must be about 10 and mil. Richard Field, uh, Richard Field says fly tying, fly tying would be good, Terry. There you go. Do you do fly fishing, Richard? No, he's just interested yeah, in flying. Sure he does. Ah, no, he just likes did fly he see, tying. Did he not see my fly box wood burning project the other day? The other day, that was months ago. I did five. It was months yeah. ago. Hang on. 
Oh, huh? he's away to get another one. Oh, no. <laughs> what have you started, Richard? That's did, you not, nice did you not see that, Richard? His fly box. fly box. And inside is the flies are turned. You didn't turn the flies. You tied the flies. Yeah, made. Hang on. I'll take the other one off as well. Both sides look. Look at that, eh? The little project. Man. That's on a live somewhere. Because Ruby Claire said to me, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know. I got a clue. She, so, so she knew I did fly time for hobby. Well, fly fishing. She said, I said, yeah, I'll make a fly box. So I made a fly box. There you are. Richard, you know, tied his own flies. Did it? Does he? Oh, yep, well, he did did. Very nice. And, yeah. Uh, Tim from TF Tonic says, I'm all in. I'm having some of that. And, and, right. and the Morse code, he says. <laughs> right. Well, I'm doing code. David Oatley <laughs> said, your painting is much better than your building work, Terry. Yeah, he can show <laughs> off. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Mm. It was all the materials weren't very good, so I had seconds. That's what it was. So I had to keep going back for more. <laughs> anyway, it's not my show, it's your show, Steve. Well done tonight. I thought that was, oh, it was good. I enjoyed that. Something I've never turned before. And it was good. I like, enjoyed it. Really good. Oh, you never turned the goblin before? No, I've never yeah, turned the burn. Oh, the burn. Are, are you Laburnum. listening, Brian, or what? Roy, are you just sitting you're in still listening, Roy. You're still Only listening. Sometimes. All that laburnum you got, Roy. Drop it up to Steve. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you, I mean, if it's still growing, he, he, he can sort that out. I mean, it's not a problem. No, Roy's good to me. Roy does give me a lot of wood. I'm, I'm not going to. You're going to arrogate, Roy? He is, I believe. Bring some with you. Any of you not? <laughs> Bring some with you. You're not going to arrogate? Because I'm going. Steve's going. Brian's going. I'm going. Barry, I'm going to take a mick out of my little Barry's going. Hobbit Barry's, uh, Barry's wood creations is going. Take a oh. take a mick out of my little hobbit legs if you like. Got a mind. How many five for you? You and Roy are about the same size, actually, Terry. Oh, there you are. See? Oh, Roy's a hobbit. Yeah, Roy's a hobbit. Then. He is. <laughs> Didn't know there's hobbits in Norfolk. No, Roy comes from Essex, I believe, but he lives in Norfolk. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the. Uh... Well, actually, I think he lives in Cambridgeshire. I think that's actually Cambridgeshire see, where he lives. See, see no more. It's from Essex. Not his fault. Well, for London, anyway, I would say it's from Essex. You have to blame Don't his mother and father for that. <laughs> oh my God. Stuart Sims is on uh, Richard, uh, Richard, if you got a laburnum tree a couple of weeks ago, don't forget to put my name on a few bits of it. Roy is going to Harrogate, that's good. Lad. Where, Thanks, Richard. where are you staying, Roy? Richard, please don't say it. Just saying, Richard, okay? I'm allowed 20 kilograms. We're going to see um, Glenn Lucas. In you're, July. you're you're not getting any Terry. Put your, put your own mood. Go on, get lost. <laughs> Brian will be there. Bro. Oh, for God's sake! Richard's my deal. Richard's my dealer. What drug dealer or wood dealer? Burnham dealer. Wood dealer. He's my wood dealer. Make a noise, Reef. Go. Finish your kitchen up. <laughs> oh, I know. Right, the boys are cockney. Born and bred. <laughs> that, that, that comment that Roy just put in. I know, I was saying we've on with well, I'm cockney, born and bred. That's just, that's just, YouTube. took you down a pack or two, Roy. That's not, it's not your own, that's not your fault, Roy. Premier in, yes, Roy, Premier in. Which Premier in? Right? North. Let us know, let us know and we'll book a different one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's shocking. <laughs> you're booked in the Premier and the South, guys, if you're yeah. coming. Yeah. We could take over the whole Premier and actually there could be a one big returning team. Well, if I knew there was that many going, we could have made, yes. made a block booking and got it a bit cheaper. And I will warn you, if anybody comes in the in the, in the the uh, pub with us, well, not me because I don't drink, but that lot, you can guarantee we'll get locked out or kicked out or... Well, last time we got locked in. Well, we got left in. We didn't so much get locked in. We got left in. Left All the staff went home. They? Yeah, they was a bit upset when they come to Link because they kicked him out at 11 o'clock. They did, I. Some, hosp some hospitality in Norfolk, that's all I can say. Well, I think it was the accident that frightened them. Yeah, uh, Paul Kavanagh says, Richard, mate, buddy, pal. <laughs> like Burnham, you say? Mm. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've got a 20 kilogram suitcase and it's empty. I, Richard gave me a it was the, the little piece of Liburnum I spoke of earlier, the tiny little branch piece that I got uh, came from Richard. And I turned a beautiful, couple of little beautiful um, Christmas tree ornaments with it. It's gorgeous. Really nice to turn. So I look forward to getting a larger piece of it, but it's uh, quite expensive. So Archie Woodcraft will be at Harrogate. Archie, good. Right. Um, Ockle Wood, Woodcraft. Excellent. Barry's Wood Creations in the yeah. Premier Inn South, so he'll be there. I know. Stephen's going as well. Stephen good stuff, Barry. Said the other day he's going. He's booked in already. I think Roy's going to book his room there at the time by the looks of that. Tickets come out apparently in August. They do. Yeah, Towards the end of August. Hopefully, they're not. Hopefully, they're tickets not going to cancel. August. Hopefully, it's going to go ahead. They will cancel. Well, don't say never. Why would they cancel? Well, it depends on the what goes on, doesn't no. it? No. Things keep <laughs> things <laughs> things keep going the way I won't be able to afford the fuel to get there anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, way, the way things are going, yeah. It's all right for you. I have to fly to the bus. Catch a train. Roy's booked. He's just booked. All oh, right. Richard, Richard, feels, Richard says he's a wood hoarder. No, you're not, Richard. Mm. You like to share. Oh, Ben, you snob. Oh, jamming. See. I'll be kind of small. Snobbing. What's he going to holiday in? Is he going to holiday in? Yeah, Travel lodge. Probably vented a five bed. He's got the, he, yeah, he's got he's got the travel lodge with a tent out the back. Yeah, don't start that jamming. He might have his own sort of transport. You know, one of those. Norman's coming for just for one day. Yeah. Norman. Norman's be there. What day you go? What day you going, Norman? Sure to find me. Oh, we'll be there. Oh, we'll be there two days. So no more. So we'll see him so someday. whoever's going, message when you're going. Messages and we'll try and do a meet up. Yeah. yeah. A lot of coffee and a tea and a laugh. Got oh, back right, as they say in Ireland. Anyway, let's knock it on the head now, shall we? Yeah, All right, okay, right. yeah. What time it Thanks is? Thanks everybody for coming and watching Steve off, today. Off. And it's got dark in here, but it's on light on. Born as hell. I wouldn't realise, I'm not engrossed. I wouldn't realise. Born as hell to listen to, but thanks for coming in anyway. <laughs> Steve's done it. Like I always say, Steve like I always say, if that. you got ab if you got insomnia and you need to sleep, start alive. <laughs> no, well, I could, I could easily do one now. I think we can soon, we can soon. No, I'm not. So anyway, nice little goblet. Thank you very much for coming over and watching. Really do appreciate you guys coming over and enjoying. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed the banter, which is what Friday nights are all about. And other than that, have a great weekend. I will see you Sunday. These gentlemen will be Monday. Well, Bro Terry will be if he's fit. Yeah. Um, but Brian will be. I will be Monday. Brian night. will be Monday night. So have pending. So have a great weekend, guys. Um, take care, speak to you soon, and I'll see you Sunday. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Night. Thanks for coming Bye. in. Appreciate it. Bye for now. I'm a bit, a bit, a bit, that's all, folks. <laughs>